Hey everybody, it's Dark Guardsman and we're back with another video. Now, Ice Beam Classic is more or less almost ready for beta release. I'm hoping to actually get it out tomorrow, uh, actually get it marked out for beta and everything else. We still got to do quite a bit of testing to make sure that the server and client are both functional and there's no noticeable issues uh, with the release. Right now, everything does look good. I have tested all the explosives that recently again to make sure that they all work. Uh, one of the changes that has gone on since the last video is we now actually have... Um, recipes for basically every single system so almost every card has recipes I'm not gonna go through each one of them but they're all there all the grenades work all the items have recipes now so the trackers got recipe diffuser radar gun uh, some of these have been uh, made a little bit cheaper and I still probably gonna go through like this one I'm probably gonna drop down to an event circuit uh, but they're there and they actually are working actually I think that one's already set to an event circuit it's just I'm so used to that being red rather than blue uh, but everything's there looking good everything has a recipe short of i think the clusters still need recipes all the concrete's got recipes all the blocks have got recipes all the machines except for the emp tower does not have a recipe supports are there i have dropped down the price on several of these i think i mentioned that in another video i'm still thinking about how to do these recipes as they're not 100 percent spot on where they should be and i think i'm going to probably have to go through and add a little bit more components to make it make more sense and not cost as much. The whole goal is to balance out the cost with how early in game that the player should actually get these items. For example, we've got these balanced out the copper. This is from the original earlier mod. I may switch this out to bronze because I still want it to be a little bit later game until you get missiles, but I still want it to be pretty early. So thinking in terms of other mods it would be at least after you start getting furnaces and stuff when you start building actual launchers which means bronze would probably be a good ideal because then you would have tin and copper and be able to actually make those um, when it comes to the actual ingots we do have a couple ingots on here right now i might add a couple more these actually are meant to be a stopgap measure right now uh, so they're just in here in case you don't install another tech mod with icbm um, so if you forget to like install thermal expansion industrial craft or something else these are there so that the mod does function. Uh, it is preferable if you do install another a larger tech mod with these in order to get all the components and recipes. Everything is disableable, so if you actually go into the options, and uh, let me actually find the correct thing here, mod options, and you go down to uh, ICBM, you can hit config, and you can actually get down items and you can disable things. So you can disable battery circuits, crafting items, ingots, plates, wires. Uh, there should be another one, I think, in here for clumps and stuff. Like, we have a clump item which has, does not have a texture at the moment. I still got to make one. Uh, but it's what's going to be used to actually make the still. Uh, so when you go to make still, you just make a clump real quick. That's just there to kind of prevent it from conflicting with another re uh, mod's recipes. Plus, uh, kind of make it not free. Because most people kind of get annoyed at the fact that you just can go straight from uh, Iron Ingot to still. In the earlier versions of the mod, when... That it doesn't quite make sense and stuff. Plus, if you balance it with other mods, it's not quite there. Of course, these recipes can be disabled. Now, add more configs by request or as we go. And everything's good there. But yeah, so that's all there. Uh, the main purpose of this video is not just to go over recipes. Um, what I do need is I need some people to start testing the mod heavily, like literally going through, test anything and everything you can think of, try to break the mod as badly as possible. That way, over the next day or so, I can sit there and fix all the problems and actually get a proper release out so we can actually say that the mod is done and ready for 112 altogether. And then I can focus on starting to do some of the usability improvements and start working on adding more machines and stuff like finishing the battery box. And doing other stuff like that is highly necessary in the mod. Anyways, I'll leave you guys here and I'll be back with another video. Hopefully I'll be able to do, finish off the tutorial videos today for the battery box and get that done and a few other things.